All right, this is the uh, boat ramp fill site being operated by uh, Denver Fire Department's boat, Fire Boat 3, here in uh, North Carolina. So North uh, Lake Norman actually spans a couple counties, so they're from Lincoln County. They're using cam locks, filling in with dual two and a halfs. So they have a five coming off, but nobody had a manifold right away. So that's a 1,500 gallon a minute fire boat. That's what it's rated at. It'll do more than that. It doesn't need much water. You can see it just pulls up and they engage that fire pump. And now he's filling these. They're filling them well over a thousand gallon a minute. Works really well. So when you have these kind of lakefront properties, right? These big lakes, whether it be Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire, whether it be Lake Norman here, Lake Estonia, all those big lakes. Um, Lake Geneva, we saw a fire boat at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. These type of fire boats, not only are they good for structure protection, but they're really good for tanker loading sites. This, this fills up, frees up a whole engine. They could have laid five inch hose several hundred feet up that road, loaded them up there, but uh, does a really good job here. Right now they're low in, you know, loading, excuse me, Cheryl Ford's Tanker 2 about 2,000 gallons and they should be full just here in a moment. So it doesn't need anything fancy, right? It's taking its water, it's a bottom draft rig, good to go, and they're full. So that was uh, really fast. Next engine arrived, this is Claremont's engine tanker. They're gonna back in and get loaded up. So excellent use of a fire boat. Uh, good volume size, not only can they supply structural fire support along the waterfront, they can supply tanker support for inland operations. 